all hope you are all well today. In my video I'm giving my thoughts on the discontinuation of plastic bubbles on figure cards and everything eventually going to inbox figures when it comes to our figure purchases. Is that really a bad thing? The short answer on this one is simply no. It has to be done to reduce plastic waste in at least an attempt to save the environment. Hasbro of course is the lead runner in this, great intentions and even greater PR ops. Making the company look fantastic, taking one more step into the carbon neutral trend that all companies are looking to achieve. What's causing all the fuss if this has to be done by every company in the toy industry, or at the very least the industry powerhouses such as Hasbro and Mattel to reduce that carbon footprint? The two main gripes from the collector community are the QC issues and the box designs. QC is the big one of course, missing paint apps, paint apps out of place and accessories missing completely from the packaging and we've recently seen this and that's with figures still having that plastic viewing window. Figures are of course a luxury but given that the price of figures is rising by £5 or more due to other factors I can understand the frustration this does cause. Money is tight for many and that one figure a month could be the individual's treat and for that not to come as intended is quite the disappointment. Can QC issues be fixed? I guess it's just a case of employing more people but this may not be possible due to the current situation that we are all facing in the world right now. Bland box art, that's an incredibly easy one to fix. Earthrise had wonderful art, especially on the closed box figures such as Skylinks and this continued with Kingdom Rodimus. The recent box Marvel Legends figures with CG pictures of the figures on the box are just bland and will not grab the eye on the toy shelves when most of the cash is dropped in these figures, let's face it. I suspect that this will change quickly and we'll see some lovely striking box art within a couple of years. The biggest collector being impacted by this change of course is the mock collector. I let my figures breathe so it's really not an issue for myself but I can understand the frustration this will cause to them. However, we collectively as figure collectors, be it Transformers, Marvel Legends, G.I. Joe Classified, Power Rangers, a Lightning Collection and Valverse to name a few, now more than ever for future generations to have one, have to accept that plastic bubbles need to go. And in the grand scheme of things, it's a very small sacrifice to make, isn't it? Let me know what you think about the discontinuation of plastic bubbles and windowed figures. I'd love to hear your response in the comment section below or a video response would be fantastic. Thanks as always for your support, even if you watch all or some of the video, your click is appreciated. Thank you. Thoughts on the disco in. Disco in the video, I'm giving my thoughts on the disco in. <sighs> Can QEC eat who? Transformers, Marvel, and stuff like Have to. Have to one accept? What? Collectively, as figure collectors, be it Transformer. <laughs> That's fucking hell.